Okay, so I kind of just got done watching the Marvel Avengers Infinity War. And I'm going to try to keep this spoil free. But, oh my gosh, it is a good movie. It is so good. You will not be disappointed. Um, It's got, it just, it, I mean, it starts talking at your heartstrings right off the bat. It picks up right where Thor Ragnarok left off. So you need you need to watch Thor Ragnarok before seeing this. <clears throat> um, it's a good movie. It ends nicely. I was afraid that it would end it funny because you know it's gonna be a two parter, but it didn't end it. <coughs> it ended pretty nicely. Um, all the characters got to shine nicely in it. Um, you know there were there were some who didn't really get as much screen time, but, you know, they, they, it was good, they know Sky a lot more screen time than I thought he did, I, see, going into this movie, I thought, oh, we're, we're not gonna see Thanos fight anybody until, like, the very end, you know, but no, no, it's, he, he's fighting, he's definitely fighting, um, I, I won't say how many stones he gets, but let's say Matt Pat was wrong, um, he was correct about some of the locations, um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great movie, um, honestly, right now, I'm giving it a, <coughs> right now, I think I'd give it a 9 out of 10, um, well, the reason I don't give it a 10 is just, Sometimes they felt like the jokes were too much. Like, there was all these jokes, but then they would just tug. I mean, tug at your heartstrings. Um, now we're going to get into spoiler territory. So if you don't want any spoilers, then leave. So, first up, there's a scene where Thanos stabs Tony. And I was like, oh my gosh, they gonna, they're going to they're gonna kill Tony. And whenever he killed about half the life of the universe, um, and I saw, you know, people were using, I thought, you know, they killed, I think her name was Happy, the, the, the chick who could sense emotions, you know, she's, she, I knew she was going to die. When it flashed the Guardians and Tony and them, I thought, okay, yeah, she's done, cause she's going to die. You know, maybe Drax will, but they aren't going to hardly kill anybody. No. No. All the Guardians died except for Star, no. Did Star Lord die? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Star Lord died too. Um, they're all dead except for Rocket then. And then when Peter died, oh my gosh, I did not expect. That. I thought there's no way they'll they'll kill Spider Man. He he's still too new. They're gonna want to milk him. Are they in? No, nope. He died. And when he his scene where he died, that was sad. That was sad. Um, but there was just some really good moments in here. You know, like, like you know, I feel like they explained very well why Thanos is doing this. Because he talks throughout the movie about how, you know, there's all these planets that are, you know, don't have enough resources. They just, you know, people are starving. And by doing this, he's letting them become better. Um, and... I mean, yeah, it's it's sad, but, you know, like you said, with Gamora's planet, um, they were starving, and now they're flourishing. But phew, it's a really good movie. It's, it's really good. Um, I hope the sequel is good. I don't know how the sequel is going to go, because, you know, it ends with Thanos getting all the Infinity Stones. But the ending was weird. I wasn't sure what to make of it, because... Okay, see, in the comics, when you use the soul gem, it kind of traps your soul. Um, I, And then when Thanos, you know, kind of broke the gauntlet, I was thinking, well, maybe that's what happened. Because in some versions of it, when you get trapped inside it, you, you see a paradise. In others, it's just, you're just waiting. So, I'm thinking that's what happened. <clears throat> Um, yeah, it was, it was good. 
The only thing I wonder about, see, I didn't see Buck Manders. So I'm like, well, why is Bucky there? I don't know. They didn't explain that really. But I felt like he was being punished or something because he didn't have his arm. He was working the fields. So I don't know what that was about. <laughs> but, yeah, it was good. I kind of wish they had mentioned Hawkeye or something or, you know, because... You know, I know he retired, but <clears throat> with it have been like, oh, I wish Hawkeye was here. Such a shame he's retired now. You know, that kind of thing. But, oh well. Um, It was really, 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 really cool when Thor got Warhammer, or Stormbreaker, wow, Warhammer. He got Stormbreaker. Um, That was cool. Somebody else had predicted that. I want to say it was Comic Story. He predicted that. So props to you, Rob. Um, it was, it was such a cool moment seeing him wield that, because Thor, I was so scared they were going to kill Thor. There were so many times in that movie, like in the beginning, when Thanos had him, I thought, no, they, they won't kill him right here, not, not now, but then they killed Loki, and I was like, oh, okay. <coughs> um, but, and then when he had, you know, had that star shoot through him, I thought, oh, they're going to do it now. And, but then he got to just wreck Thanos' army, and Thanos, and it was, it's, it's a great movie, it's amazing, but that's it, peace.